Hello and welcome back to the channel and our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we've got the season opener for the San Diego Toreros as they travel to take on the 10th ranked Hawaii Warriors in one of the toughest stadiums that we'll see this entire season. They've got a pretty solid team, a couple good offensive linemen, actually four offensive linemen with 80 overall or higher, really solid defense and a lot of speed for the Warriors and it is going to be a tough day for the Toreros. My prediction for this game is Hawaii winning 45 to 21. Let's get into it and see how accurate that is. Here's Demetrius George, wide receiver with a nice spin move and returns it up to the 22 yard line. Daryl Ballard, the smart quarterback, chucks one out deep and that pass hits the grass incomplete. Just like that, the Toreros go three and out. And there's a nice stop by Luke Moss, middle linebacker for San Diego. And a nice completion out to the right sideline for Hawaii here. Counter play to Langford. Stuffed, breaks loose. Jones tracks him down at the 12-yard line. Touchdown saving tackle. And then Fulmore taking a shot over the middle. And Myers speeds past the safeties for the touchdown. And the Warriors are on top first. 7-0 over the San Diego Toreros. Offense back on the field. That is Robbie Ballard taking the handoff from Daryl Ballard. Third and four play action. Daryl Ballard is sacked. And this offense is just not getting anything done today. They have zero yards so far. Nice sack here by the non-subscriber defensive end. And he actually hits the quarterback again. And a nice hit from Luke Moss jars the ball loose from the receiver. Can the offense get something going here? The answer is no as they throw an interception and Shaw takes that one back to the house for the touchdown. It's the first thrown interception in the career of Daryl Ballard. He comes right back firing. That's the first catch for Doug Lay, wide receiver. 6'2", 210 pounds, smart player build. He's got another reception here for a loss of two yards and the Toreros have to punt the ball away yet again. Second and 11 for Hawaii. Quarterback is hit once again. Williams with a nice catch. There's a forced fumble recovered by the defense. And the Toreros have a shot at closing the gap here. And a nice play here by the outside linebacker just to fall on that. Third down already for San Diego. And Ballard is crushed back towards midfield, making it fourth and 16. Toreros do punt the ball away. And it is going to go inside the five-yard line. And Demetrius George actually knocks it back. So it is downed inside the ten-yard line. Great play by the freshman wide receiver. And there's a nice deflection from uh, Isaac Price, number 12, the raw cornerback. Toreros get the ball back. Daryl Ballard on the option. He gets popped. Very close to the first down marker. Third and inches, the big fullback, and he also gets destroyed and does not pick up the first down. What a hit by the linebacker. Just comes through unblocked. Fourth and inches, Torero's going for it. Ballard, high-stepping, getting in there, picks up the first down. Ballard pressured again and sacked. I do apologize for the drop frames. I'm not sure why he keeps doing this, but I'm working on a solution. Darrell Ballard taking a shot over the middle. Demetrius George with a huge reception. Picking up the first down. Only the second first down of the game for the Toreros. And a nice reception there. Ballard going to go to the air again. Pressured, hit, and that pass is intercepted. And he's going to return this one out of the end zone. Breaking a tackle in the open field. Doug Lay giving Chase, and he is not going to catch him. Chase is gone. What a play by the safety to take that one back. 101 yard. Interception return for a touchdown. Very unfortunate for the Toreros. And they're going to get back on offense here and not miss a beat. They're going to keep trying to pound the ball with Robbie Ballard, who is averaging two yards per carry. Daryl rolling out left side. He's got a couple guys open here. Throws it out, and Espinoza comes down with it past midfield for the big first down. The Torero offense looks like this. Smart quarterback, Daryl Ballard who we just saw got, he got sacked again. 
Halfback, Robbie Ballard, raw talent. We've got two wide receivers. Here's one of them, Demetrius George with a screen reception there. He is a smart talent, as well as Doug Lay. The other receiver is also a smart talent, and that pass is almost picked off in quadruple coverage. Terreros punt the ball away again. They also have a left tackle, brick wall, athletic talent, and there's another big touchdown for the Warriors, 78-yard touchdown bomb. Just not enough speed on this defense, which looks like this. Two middle linebackers, Luke Moss and Rob Roy. They run the 3-4 defense, so they're both on the field at all times. They are both smart player builds, and here's a great run up the middle for Robbie Ballard. We've also got a cornerback, Isaac Price. We saw him have a nice deflection. And this pass is caught by Doug Lay, past the 30, inside the red zone, and a huge pickup for San Diego. The defense also has Dylan Tong, the raw talent of strong safety. DJ Payne at defensive tackle, the big 6'6", 325 pound athletic build player. As Ballard gets dropped again, second sack of the game for Thompson. And the defense is rounded out by defensive end, Boom Johnson, as Ballard throws another pick. Three turnovers so far for the Toreros. And that'll end the first half with the 10th ranked Hawaii Warriors on top 28 to nothing. And a nice catch here from Williams. He'll get another first down. The Warriors really having no issues. Uh, having some nice drives here. Wide open downfield is deflected away. Great uh, closing speed by Dylan Tong. Fourth down. Hawaii's going to go for it here. And almost picked off by Dylan and it might have been a huge interception return right there. But they do get the stop. Quick pass to Demetrius George. He just can't seem to get downfield. Third and ten. Ballard hit again as he throws it. And it's picked off once again, this time by Reed. And he'll get it up to the 49-yard line. Nice play by the strong safety, who also has three tackles on the day. Play action from Fulmore. And that pass is intercepted by Jackson. It didn't look like the receiver even saw the pass, and it sailed right over his head. Dan Fouts trying to get his team excited here, trying to get some points on the board. And they might have a good shot at it here. Yeah, that bounced right off the receiver's helmet. Unfortunate for him, but fortunate for the Toreros as Ballard is sacked yet again. Coming right off the left edge there. Ballard taking a deep shot to Demetrius George, and he's got it inside the 25-yard line, the biggest reception of his young career. Huge play as the Toreros now are threatening near the red zone, trying to get their first points of the season. It's a very tough environment here, though. Robbie Ballard, left side, gets another first down for San Diego. He's now averaging three yards per carry. Ballard pressured, rolling out right. Don't make a bad decision. And that pass is actually dropped by the tight end. Hit him right in the stomach. I don't think he ever saw it. Toreros kick a field goal, and they are finally on the board. It is 28-3 here in Hawaii. Warriors back on offense, though. And they continue to have nice pass plays as that pass sails over Tong's head. From the 32-yard line, Tong going right side to Langford. He'll get it up to the 44. And they are just torching this right side of the field and passing plays as Fulmore is sacked. Fulmore again, this time taking a deep shot. Intercepted by Dylan Tong, his first of his career at the 25-yard line. Toreros have a shot now at making the, the scoring gap 18 points. Huge run here from Ballard as he trucks through a linebacker. My goodness. Triple option. Non-subscriber fullback gets the first down, a six-yard pickup. They have a nice drive going so far. Ballard is hit as he throws, though, and that is picked off by Chase again. And there's a holding call. That'll be declined. That was Brick Wall on the holding penalty. And here is a deep shot downfield. He's got a few steps and a touchdown. That was Myers getting behind both safeties for the huge touchdown. That'll end the third quarter. 35-3 is the score. Hawaii on top. Ballard throws it out deep to George. And it is caught in double coverage. Great throw. Finding that little empty space in between the two defenders. 
and it was on the run which makes it even more impressive and a great catch from Demetrius George Ballard again he's got Doug Lay wide open on the left side he's got it stays in bounds inside the five touchdown San Diego first career passing touchdown for Daryl Ballard and the first career receiving touchdown for Doug Lay what a play and a great job to hold on to the ball at the end of that play with a huge hit Hawaii still taking shots downfield here but that is a fumble look at how high that ball bounces in the air Hawaii would recover and there's a personal foul on Dylan Tong for the face mask. Thought that was a pretty neat play though. The ball bounced about 15 feet in the air. Taking a shot deep again. Tong in coverage and deflects it out of bounds. Another good play for him. Terreros take back over on offense. Ballard rolling out left side. Takes a shot deep to Doug Lay. And he's going to come down with it with both feet in bounds for a huge reception at the 35 yard line. And both of these subscriber receivers are having themselves a pretty good day. Ballard going to take another shot, but he is sacked before he can even try. And he has lost 37 yards on sacks. Ballard hit again as he throws. Deflected away. He wanted George again, but could not get enough power on the throw. Backups now in for Hawaii. And Crooks is going to take this one all the way. Look at the speed difference, folks. That is insane. 42 to 10 is now the score with two minutes to go in the game. Ballard pressured, hit as he throws yet again. 13 hurries, eight sacks, five interceptions for this Hawaii Warriors defense. And Crooks runs through both safeties and he is gone again. Backup halfback putting in some work. 49 to 10 now. San Diego just trying to get the ground game working a little bit here. Not really trying to score anymore. There's a face mask on the Warriors. Ballard going to take a shot. Nope, he is sacked again. That is the ninth sack for this Hawaii Warriors defense. And this top 25 ranked crowd is going insane right now. Espinoza is wide open right now, and he's going to come down with it. Past the 40, the 30, the 20, inside the 15, 10, 5, down to the one-yard line. What a play for the non-subscriber slot receiver. And that allows Robbie Ballard to punch it in for his first career rushing touchdown one play later. That is going to do it, folks. 49-17 is the final score here in Hawaii. The Toreros really didn't stand a chance from the get-go. The speed difference is really what sets these teams apart. And the offensive line for San Diego got absolutely demolished all game. Nine sacks. Five interceptions thrown. I think 15 hurries for Daryl Ballard. And this was kind of close to my prediction. I predict, predicted 45 to 21. It ends in a 49-17. So that was pretty close. Four points off for each. But I did not expect the Toreros to win this game at all. But they did put up a pretty good fight there in the second half. But of course, Hawaii had their backups in. Ballard, 13 of 27, one touchdown, five interceptions, sacked nine times, losing 46 yards off those sacks. Robbie Ballard, 54 yards, not a great average, and one touchdown for him today. Doug Lay had his first career touchdown. Both receivers, uh, subscriber receivers, had 100-yard uh, receiving days today. Dylan Tong, four tackles, Luke Moss with three. Brick Wall, the tackle, had one. And Rob Roy, the other middle linebacker, did not have one tackle today. Interception for Dylan Tong and Jesse Jackson. A bunch of pass deflections for Tong, Price, Luke Moss. Very disappointing day for the Toreros. But if you are one of the players on these teams, most of them had a pretty decent day. Daryl Ballard struggled a lot, but that is because of his offensive line. And Robbie Ballard also struggled because of that as well. Now, the Toreros do not have a Week 3 matchup. Well, we're going to go over that in a second. Our next game will be out tomorrow. That is our first subscriber versus subscriber game. VMI travels to Rhode Island to take on the Bryant Bulldogs. Our next San Diego Toreros game will be Week 4 as they travel to 
in-town rival San Diego State to take on the 12th-ranked Aztecs. I will see you guys tomorrow with VMI and Bryant. Take it easy, guys.